see because it's a low code platform and it is not touching your legacy system uh, uh, if you are not integrating it which we have not done that's why uh, i am telling it the first and foremost thing is that you need to make your foundation right in foundation area what we have done first we have integrated our platform with our azure ad the active directory so that our login credentials get captured and uh, there is a basic security uh, uh, that we can build in in the in our local platform next part was creating all the master data which will be used all across my applications so i may have 90 100 applications running under this platform but there would be some master data for an example on employee database wherever you are logging in your employee database is required so you first you need to figure out which all master data that needs to be created on the system which will be reused then you need to configure your admin user and with that you need to figure out as per your organization's requirement that what would be the application layout that means how you want to show the application what would be your hierarchies of those application that means when you click something what should appear next that kind of um, a layout needs to be created and with that um, we have gone through a lots of security assessment um, uh, documentation uh, as per our company policy as a step 2 we have gone through a change management process we have communicated to all the user um, users about this coming up of this uh, platform uh, we have taken all required approvals from our management we placed uh, we we put up a process governance uh, forum where every month we make a meet and discuss all the changes that we are doing or all the new implementations that we are doing we have um, created one communication template through which we will communicate a different communication to all the users it could be a downtime related communication or it could be a new application onboarding uh, communication every communication has a different template after that we discussed with quicksy to create a support model that what would be our support window what would be the escalation matrix uh, and what would be the change uh, window all this thing was discussed and documented then next important step that we have uh, done that we have created a project pipeline and this is where the question comes that what type of apps do you principally use low code platform so we have created a selection uh, criteria that if this 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 there are five or six questions if these questions got satisfied with the requirement then we will bring it under low code platform or it will go through our application development team uh, using uh, all, all the bespoke technologies so that that will get developed so there is a selection criteria that we have created we have prioritized all the project that has got listed under priority also we have ranked them differently so in our project pipeline there are uh, suppose n number of applications that we have figured out and then we have prioritized so after prioritization we see there are around seven applications which are coming as priority one so under priority one also we have ranked them that which priority one we will do first then second then third that way and we are following that list only after that we created a rollout plan uh, our rollout communication and user training at this script have got created for each and every application then we have uh, identify one application that we will uh, develop and implement as a pilot and we have make that live 